Just before we get into the video, I thought I'd let you know that me and Max Belegdi have a podcast that's out today, so go check it out. Take it away, George and Alex. <laughs> Just psyched myself up to say hello. Hello. <laughs> the intros on this video get worse and worse every time we make one. Okay. What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to We Watch a Program. Another one. Today we're watching Rich Kids Go Skin. Woo! Why is it scary? Why is it's it like Halloween theme? It's we've passed Halloween. It's yeah. November. Well, this will come out in like January. So <laughs> no, and you're out late schedule. It, it's Christmas theme. I'm just looking to, into a little peephole into Alex's life. Not the type of peephole that we normally look into your life through. Can you stop hey? looking into my asshole. Glory hole was the joke there. I really do want to get out of the situation. Literally, I get paid, and the next day I have no money. I have the same problem. But I spend it all at the Louis Vuitton store. <laughs> That's it, Alex. Just relate to the people in poverty. That's oh, it was a joke. Because obviously they're crying and it's sad. No, I... I, I <laughs> no, it is. Oh, my God, I feel for you, man. I can only buy a couple jumpers from the Louis Vuitton store these no, days. No, I've stopped all of that stuff. If you can relate, hit subscribe and yeah, like. I'm joking. I'm joking. I am. Went into a Waitrose the other day and got a t-shirt from there. You got, bought a t-shirt from Waitrose? God, I'm just like you guys. I buy t-shirts from Waitrose. <laughs> With my salmon fillets. For those struggling to get by. I did six and a half months eating out of bins. That's fucking awful. Like it's it's obviously a horrible thing to hear. That sentence took it's me. Like a, it's, it's, yeah, it took me so sorry. off guard. <laughs> yeah. Can we say much more of that? I was gonna say, what if you had to pick a bin to eat out of? Which one would you pick? But I green like one, big green wheelie bin. You just eat cardboard. Yeah. Beat for your normal diet. Is. <laughs> Will the cash-strapped families change their views? I see a lot of good things about you. Most of them the numbers in your bank account. This is my assort code and account number. You're not quite the novel <laughs> I believe you would be. Let me a fiver. When rich kids go skint. Meet country girl Brooke from Suffolk. Which one's she? Is she the rich kid? I couldn't tell. I, I'd assume based on the, on the fucking house and car, <laughs> she's the rich kid. I'm very lucky that I've never had to worry about money before. My parents are always... Pretty well trained dog, that, wasn't it? Wow. That gets a pause out of you, does it? That's a what, zoom in on a fucking that's toy what, dog. That's what money gets you. Good obedience training for the feline. Mm, Not I the guess felines, so. the canines! God, I made myself look like an idiot there. Her sister's really still as well in the background. <laughs> Very well trained family, I think. <laughs> like any true princess, Brooks had things easy from the word go. I went to private school from the age of two. I was able to have my own pony and go riding. This is Brooke Assault. What is going on? She is going to be hated wherever she goes. Daddy, I want a pony. So I had to work my way up to where I was. Uh, it he had to me, work his way up to his pony. It, it took me about five, six years to get my first pony. And that, that was a big moment for me. 100 subscriber plaque. Yeah. Million subscriber plaque. Pony. A uh, pony. That's and then I ideally, if I'm doing really well, full blind horse. Damn. I wouldn't advise doing that to the horse, though. And this, I think, was £900. So I won the title of Miss Norwich in this. <laughs> <laughs> I had it back. I go, I don't want this. Miss Norwich. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell! That is an insult, surely? Is that an accolade you wear for like prowess? Oh my god, it's Miss Norwich. I don't know much about the benefit system. It's not something I've ever had to think about or worry about, really. Could she get any more quintessential posh person? I don't know much about poverty. <laughs> the editors have done it so dirty there. All she's done so far is she was born into a good yeah, family. Yeah, she's not done anything wrong. And she was given the title of Miss Norwich, so you've got to be sorry for her. You've got to feel sad for the poor woman. It's where she'll be living skint with single mum of eight, Sonia. Single mum of eight? She looks after eight children. She's got a creche. Yeah, that is like a full-time job. That's just a small nursery. Just awful. Think about all the horses you'd have to get. Bloody hell, that's a lot of ponies. So many ponies, man. I get £1,500 a month. After I've paid all the bills, there's literally about £200 left for the month. This has suddenly gotten very political. But they're gonna bring another kid into this family, so they're gonna. She's gonna have to the... knock to the door and go. Are you struggling? Yeah. Can you, can you help? No. We can give you another one if you'll know. Raising kids in this part of London is another thing that weighs heavy on Sonia's mind. In this area, we have problems with drugs, prostitution, 
gangs. And that's just after I moved there. Well, I wasn't joking when I said that Hackney is not exactly the nicest place in London. Somebody tried to mug me when I was in Hackney. That's happened twice. You are like the prime mugging victim, though. It's like a frail little man just draped in money. I'm wearing an internet sensation shirt at the moment, actually. Oh, yeah, I've got skin. I would like to teach the rich kid that money isn't everything and love care and attention to your family is so much more. How do you think this is gonna go down? I really hope nicely because she seems lovely, but I've got a terrible feeling. I am gonna bet on humanity today, and I never normally would do. I'm gonna believe she's gonna come in and she'll treat it like cleaning out the stables. I uh, would not compare people in poverty <laughs> to cleaning out the stables, Alex. That, I was not so saying that. Disgusting. While he's keen for his daughter to see another side to life, her dad Richard first wants to make sure that his- His name is literally Richard Dick. Why is that the first thing you think of? Because everybody with money is a dick. Coming from two influencers, guys. Staying with this family, yeah. uh, they're likely just to have the one bathroom. Oh my oh, god! Oh god, no! George, I didn't, I didn't fucking know it was that bad! Oh, oh, one bathroom! Just one. Fucking hell. No, get, get her out of there! Oh my god. How the other half live? And food, because you can be a bit <laughs> finicky, can't you? Why does he look so worried for his daughter? What? She... He seems so okay still at the moment. He seems genuinely terrified to send his daughter here. Are you sure going to be okay? Because they won't have the buffet that we do here. He's just panicking that his, his lovely little precious might have to end up eating a cod and chips of an evening. Out of a bin. <laughs> To have that understanding and to experience how they live, it's just going to be good for me. I agree. I think it'll be terrific for you. Good luck. Oh my god, that is, that is, that, I think that, I think that just epitomises everything. How have they cut to the wide? Cling! A lovely little boardroom of a dining room. Good luck. Oh. To, to poor people. I, do, I don't envy you, my love. Cheers. Whoa! <laughs> whoa, 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 What? On the lips? She's what? At least 17, she's got a car. That's odd, man. That's weird. Giving up luxury living won't come easy. Good thing boyfriend Johnny's on hand to keep her in check. He's 29. He's very old. Yeah, what is going on there? Do you reckon he kisses her dad on the lips as well? <laughs> Probably. What do you reckon he's going to be like? I imagine he's going to sound very posh. I mean, I, I, <laughs> he's probably going to sound like me. <laughs> yeah. I think you like, might need another suitcase. She's not done yet. And then I'm going to bring, obviously, got my wash bag. Do not take the Louis Vuitton bag to Hackney. Like, just looking around what's on her bed right now, like, oh, I don't know why I'm surprised. It's all worth a lot of money. Her MacBook, her Beats headphones, I used to have a pair of those. You know, they're good, to be fair, but um, I lost them. Uh, what is this? It's only a tech review. They're quite good. I think uh, I'll give them a 7.5 rating. Okay, what would you give kissing your dad on the lips? 10 if he gives me another pony. I'll explain the whole fleet of horse. <laughs> <laughs> Gucci belt, and then I'm thinking I'll bring... My Rolex. Oh, only the essentials. Going to stay with this poor family. They might not know how to tell the time! I'm not using the sundial! What will I need to bring? Um, everything over a grand. It's a 125 mile trip from rural Suffolk countryside to the urban jungle that is East London. Calling it the urban jungle seems fucking wrong. Wiki, wiki. Jungle is massive. In the words of um, Alison G. Alistair, he was a boy. Is a boy. <laughs> Could have changed. 2022. I'm not, you know, 100% sure I feel completely safe here. And some police cars. Two police cars. <laughs> Oh, I'm really nervous. But I do feel quite bad for her. She's not wrong. Because, she, because she's got so much money and she doesn't know what to do with it. No, because she's in the back of this car and they've clearly just gone, say what you see, say what you see. She's going through Hackney. I walk down the wrong street and I'm like, oh fuck, I'm going to die. Imagine they're like stuck up and rude and just arrogant. And they kiss her down on the lips. God, that would be the worst. Well, the other stuff she doesn't seem to be. It's just incestuous. You think that's them? Yeah, probably. <laughs> what makes you think that girl in the middle of the Hackney's the rich one? <laughs> she looks like the average Hackney dweller. She looks like, have you seen the film Wild Child? No, I have not. Oh, well, that's uh, one for the female audience. Still to come. That's just a pound then, please. The pink princess feels like a fish out of water when she's put to work on Sonia's market stall. Nacho juice, come on! She got a mask on pre-COVID. I think this might be set during COVID. I don't, I'll let you off. She's actually yet to do anything weird other than kiss her dad. I don't want to get COVID, but dad, come here. Give us your dad germs. That's not a clip I want on the internet. Uh, it's a bit upsetting. Oh, <laughs> and it is a bit embarrassing.
Get excited for that. Are you looking forward to that, guys? She's just having a little breakdown, then it goes. Rich kids, kids, go skate. It's like graffiti writing. <laughs> Hi, oh. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I brought this for you oh. just as like a little gift to say thank you for letting me stay. Oh, you're welcome. I got you a nice new Rolex. Um, it's just like a MacBook cover. <laughs> There's something <laughs> that she can't use. I got you five new PlayStation 5 controllers. I got you a lovely case of champagne flutes. <laughs> she's, she's just they're like, yeah, we'll use those. It's quite a big change from what I'm used to. Oh. What well, is the type of area you love? On? We're surrounded by like fields, so we've got some horses, some chickens. Dogs. Do you guys not recognise me? I'm Miss Norwich! We're just like, whereabouts are you from? Oh, fine, you've pressed me to it. I'm Miss Norwich. I am. Yeah. Which is ironic because you guys are Norwich. <laughs> Guys? It's really lovely, it's really peaceful, really quiet, really nice. I think you'd all like it. <laughs> Don't say that! <laughs> I think you'd like it if you had a horse and you lived in the countryside and, and you were Miss Norwich. I think you'd enjoy that with a Rolex. I think you'd prefer that to this little shit place called Acne. Do you know what? I reckon you'd like it. Living off all these millions that I've got. It's not for everyone, but I reckon you guys... Give it a try! Is it a bit of a dangerous area around here? Um, that is an understatement. <laughs> There's a lot of prostitution, wow. drug dealing. So, we're sending you out. We need 50 quid by the end of the day. Get to work. Man turns up in a hood. I can't have your services. And then she goes, <gasps> Dad? Goes, oh, you got me, princess. Kiss her on the lips. You've created a hell of a storyline to this. If you had to kiss your dad, would you rather be paid for it or would you rather do it for free? What? How, how am I in the hot seat? For I'm this asking you the question. Your dad comes up to you and goes, George, I really like kissing you on the lips, but now I'm going to start offering you money to no, do so. Right, I'm not answering this question. <laughs> I need a fucking answer here. Well, no, you yes, don't. I do. No, but you don't know. Yeah, I do. How, all right, number one, how much are you charging? Fuck off. I <laughs> know, seriously. How much are you charging for this? No, go on, mate. How much to snog your dad? No, no go on. It's weird, Alex. No. You've got to put a price on it. You have to. I, I quite literally don't. <laughs> you do. You do. This is important. For what? For the video. This is important for oh, the yeah, video. Oh, yeah. Good bit of pants for the video. <laughs> it is. This is useful for everybody at home. They want to know. So tell them. Oh, yeah. They'll start up a GoFundMe. Well, they oh, I'm pretty good. No, it's not. We're not doing this, Alex. On this road alone, in the last three years, I think there's been two or three shootings. Shootings? Yes. I'm not laughing at that. I'm not laughing at that. What are you laughing at, Alex? I'm not laughing she at just that. said there's been two or three shootings in this, in this lovely little house with her family. I'm laughing at the idea of you trying to kiss your dad for no money. <laughs> You're weird, man. Maximus sleeps in here with you, yeah? Yes. Right. But obviously... It's not ideal. No. There's a family of three, me, my mum, my dad, living in an eight-bedroom house. Wow. So excessive. Eight That's beds. Very nice. Mum and dad, they're in the same room. Actually, if he's on the money, he is. She's not interested. They'll be at children in a different room. I reckon it's probably 200 quid to sleep in the bed with my dad, I'd say. What are you talking about? Just going off the pricing system we've established. This. Why is this a running? This isn't a thing that's happening. All right, your dad says. Alex, no. I would like to be able to provide my children with all that. But it's difficult. Yeah. It is difficult. I, I do feel for because she's clearly not a horrible girl. She's like trying to she be. She didn't as buy nice the as house as well. No, uh, she's trying to be as nice as possible. Clearly, the producers will be behind going, say a bit more about the house. Go on. But they keep on calling her like the pink princess. Yeah. She's been trying to be painted out to be a villain here. She wants to be a nurse. That's useful. That's a good thing. And that's why we clap for him. The sound of George's dad in their bedroom. No, stop. It's lunchtime, and with four mouths to feed, Sonia's forced to make a little go a long way. I'm quite good at making a little go a long way. So you say to your dad, Alex, why? No, we're stopping this because it's so weird. I've made you a cheese sandwich. <laughs> right. I don't actually like cheese. Oh, <laughs> just suck it up. Okay, Sorry. Now she's entering the realms of just get on with it, love. Just eat the bread, man. Just take the cheese out, eat the bread. That's the problem. They can't eat the bread. They've got none. Money jokes. Uh, to tell you the truth, if you was my kid, you would be eating it, but okay. that's fine. Sorry, I'll I'm, make you something I'm just else. a really, really fussy eater. Honestly, just some toast will be absolutely fine. Okay. Well, that's not a huge demand. She's actually asked yeah, for less. Yeah. She's asked for less. In fairness, you could just take the cheese out. Save the cheese. Give the cheese to the others. Yeah. Hand cheese out to people in the street. Go free cheese. Look at me. I'm the big cheese. So. You could go, to be fair, slice of cheese. That's about the price it would cost for me to charge my dad to kiss me. So you could go... You, and you could start reversing it. Why? And why? <laughs> I feel bad now. Hmm, seems Sonia's a little cheesed off. 
wish I thought of that. That's such a good joke. Oh my God. I'm never going to get into this commentating biz if I'm not whittling them off like that. It's 1 p.m. as they head off to catch some of the lunchtime trade at the market. Together with Brooke's pink designer coat and two and a half thousand pound handbag, that is. Yeah, walk through Hackney with a two and a half grand handbag isn't. No, not me. advised, really. I yeah, I don't think it's the done thing. Everybody be going. You just carry your. Well, yeah, time to start selling juice, guys. Look what it could get you. Hello, how are you? I have orange juice. I'm all right, darling. Thank you. You can. That's it. There you are. Did I take the pound? Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you. Bye, take it. Thank you. It's natural, like the orange juice. <laughs> Oh god, I could do the commentating thing. Might pay better than taking all of that money off your dad. <laughs> Alex, what? It's so weird. She started it. She shouldn't have kissed her dad on the lips. It was all downhill from there. She just made a lovely orange juice, Alex. But that's all I can think about. I can't think about anything else. If everybody in Hackney knew that, they wouldn't buy from there. If it said on the store, my I kissed my dad on the lips, you wouldn't buy orange juice from there, would you? I'd be intrigued by why the hell they'd named the store that, I'll be honest. One well, burning cup, come on, lovely. This is where the prostitution comes into it. No, that's wrong. What is the method she's using? Come on, lovely, one pound only. You look good on the outside. What about your insides? Come on. You look good on the outside. How about your insides? I could say so. Stop, Alex. But I'm not going to. Well, you said enough. You could guess where that was going. Yeah. Unfortunately. What a weird thing to say. Could you do that? Just scream at people on the street being like, Yeah, you're gonna look on the outside, but you should buy my merch. I also kissed my dad on the lips. And that helps. <laughs> So George will go to hear you say that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he'll just be sat next door and think, hey? Being of West African and Sicilian heritage herself, Sonia's hoping this will- Oh, I, f <laughs> I, thought, they were, I thought they were talking about Brooke. Was... She'll be a natural. I've never experienced anything like this ever, really. It's a completely different world to what I'm used to. It's a really intimidating atmosphere. Her dad must fucking hate those masks. Just getting in the way. God the hell, Alex! Like, I mean, but like, genuinely though. Stop being weird! You no, know, COVID must have been awful for him. Like, her dad would have been fuming. I'm just trying to fucking get it off, unhook it. It would have pissed me off. Uh, what? Why? But she's selling orange juice, man. Can I have an orange juice, please? Yeah, of course. That's just a pound, then, please. Thank you. Lovely, thank you. It may be just a pound to Brooke, but for Sonia, every penny counts. That's twisting her words a bit, isn't it? Just a pound then, please. She hasn't gone, oh, you know that tiny little bit of money that everybody has? A pound that means nothing to you. Can I have that, please? She sold orange juice, man. Like, yes. You can't turn this into some heinous act. Well, it's not just a pound for some people, Brooke. Sonia, that means a lot, doesn't it? It's only got 200 of them a month to spare, you bitch. I've picked a great employee there. I think Sonia's gonna be tough. So, Sonia, I believe I should get 50% of all of the profits. Ideally, I think, I mean, I put the hard work in, I think, I think we should split the business 50-50. She just starts to, like, negotiate a cut. We did really well today, didn't we, Sonia? What's my percentage? Usually she'll make about, I think she told me about 30 pounds, 40 pounds a day. It is a lot of work and, you know, especially if you're out here in the cold, it is quite hard. I feel like she's not playing up to the way that they were hoping she would. No, I reckon the producers were over the moon at the beginning of the episode. Dropped off there because she actually seems to like... Well, she she's seems somewhat self-aware. She, she walked around the street and was like, I don't fit in, I can see that I don't fit in. But then would it be weird to go and buy less, like, other clothes yeah. to fit in? Like, Look, I'm like you! I like you! I'm wearing Slazenger and I'm selling orange juice. I love the watch. Is Thank that a you. Rolex? It is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, my parents got me this for my 21st birthday. Cost probably 7,000. Fucking have low end, not even worth having. I mean, they're asking the questions, so you have to give the answer, but I would feel so uncomfortable saying that to them. Nobody's gonna like the answer. And they were gifted to her, though, as well. Yeah. I mean, she could go cash for gold if she wants. Monga. 7,000 pounds. It would pay my rent for the year, which would leave my mind a little bit more secure. So. Passes over. I don't think that's what she was getting at. <laughs> You're wearing my literal house on your wrist. I, it's a bit up, up. Sorry. <laughs> I live off the kids' money as well, but like I said, I utilise the money properly. Who suggested to watch this? This is really sad. I saw her in the comments, so I was like, oh, go watch Rich Kids Go Skin. I saw the title, I was like, oh, that'd be quite funny. Did you guys think we were going to take the piss out of this? Is that what you guys thought was going to happen? Ha 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 ha, you got no money. Oh, she seems nice. Although this happening opposite somebody who's literally got your entire rent on their wrist. It's the most awkward thing I've ever witnessed in my entire yeah. life. And it's not even her fault she's been sent there. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this programme. If, if you want, if you want to see 
see the rest of it. Um, you're horrible. Um, but we we can sit through the rest of it if you want to see it. We'll try and see. We'll try and watch something next time that doesn't make we'll us just, we'll so back, depressed. We'll get back to her and her dad where it was normal. This this for me was a minefield. I right, know that the episode's over. How much? Shut up.